debate or something. Hi everyone, it's State Representative Tracy Ellert here, and today I'm doing a quick tip video on amendments. Um, amendments can be kind of confusing, and there's a lot of ins and outs with them, but one of the things um, that we have to follow with amendments is they need to be germane applicable. So House Rule 30 is around germane amendments, and an amendment yeah. must be germane to the subject matter of the bill that it seeks to amend. An amendment to an amendment must be germane to both the amendment and the bill that is subscribed. When a member objects to an amendment on grounds that the amendment is not germane, then the speaker may invite members who shall include the majority and minority leaders to the speaker station or the well, as we call it, um, to discuss that objection. Get to my next slide. So if an amendment is ruled not germane, then the member that's running the amendment has the option to ask the chair to suspend the House rules and consider them. So they would say something like, uh, Mr. Speaker or Madam Speaker, I asked to suspend the rules to consider amendment H, whatever the number is, and I request a division of record. And the division of record, um, we would press our voting buttons just like we're voting for bill, which show who approved or disapproved that. So, a motion to suspend any rule requires a division, meaning the voting machine, as I explained, will be open to receive the vote. And if you want to vote, then it would be a record vote. Um, you do have to request that, and that request must be seconded. So there's no perfect test uh, for determining when a proposed amendment or motion is germane, but the National Conference of State Legislatures offer um, the following questions to test for germaneness. So you can read those below. I'll read a couple of them. Uh, does the amendment deal with a different topic or subject? Does the amendment unreasonably or unduly expand the subject of the bill? Uh, would the amendment require a change in the bill title? So you can see those, I'll leave those up for a moment. You know, so ultimately the determination of whether an amendment is germane or not rests with the Speaker of the House or the person presiding over debate from the Speaker's chair, because it's not always the actual Speaker that sits up there, but they get to have that ultimate decision well, on if it is germane or not. Um, as always, if you have any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And um, otherwise, I will see you in the next tip. Have a great week. Bye.